This is Chapter 10, Exercise 10B in the Getting to Know ArcGIS textbook. We're on page 342. And uh, it looks like I've still got uh, the last map open from um, Example 10A. And this looks an awful lot like what's on the bottom of page 342. But just to be on the safe side, we'll go to our File tab here and we will open. And we're going to go up a level and it says to open uh, 10B. And let's open that up. And we want to zoom whole page button, uh, which is, I think, this one. Yeah, click on that. And actually, I think it's already done that. So uh, it really doesn't do anything here except redraw the map. On the menu bar, so we're going to add some other things to our map. Uh, you kind of need titles and, you know, legends and, and uh, north arrows and things like that. So uh, we want to insert a title. And actually, when you're doing... Uh, a layout like this. I'm going to close that and just show you. Again. Most of the stuff that you're going to insert is going to be here on the uh, insert ta uh, tab up here. So we want to insert a title and it says what title do you want to give your map and we're going to uh, do bioregions and bio subregions and hit enter or click on OK. Um, and it's redrawn the map again and our title should appear and here's our title and uh, it's got a cyan box cyan box around it and um, we want to drag it to the empty white area at the lower right corner of the layout so get your four-headed arrow here and drag it down and um, it doesn't say exactly where to put it but I'm gonna take a peek on the next page and it kinda looks like it is snapping to uh, these two lines right here. Uh, this one on the top and this one over here on the side. Looks like 10.7 on the side and uh, 1.7 on the top. Um, to turn on the draw toolbar we want to go to um, on our customize menu up here and we want toolbars and draw and it gives us a toolbar with some drawing tools on it uh, it says maybe floating or docked, we'll just leave it floating like that and uh, on the draw toolbar for font size highlight the current value replace it with 20 and then press enter so um, So the 16 is there now, and we want to place it with the number 20. Let's try it again. Type a 20 on top of it, okay. And press Enter. And... Okay, it just uh, got bigger. And now we want to click on the Bold button, and it should get bold. And again, has to do a lot of redrawing every time here, and, and apparently I don't have a fast enough CPU. Um, now, yeah, it's bigger in, now than it was before, but I did have it on the right guides, I, but now it's a little too big for those guides, so I need to drag it back over. So the top of it's on 1.7, the right side is on 10.7. And on the menu bar, we want to insert title again. So let's do insert title and we should get another title up here somewhere and um, drag the new title just below the existing title in the lower right corner of the map and so let's drag it right down here and um, don't have an example yet so we'll just uh, kind of center it underneath that for now they'll probably tell us precisely where to put it later um, double click the text box, so double click on this, and we get properties for it. And we want the existing text to be um, Queensland, Australia. And um, now we're on number seven on page 345. On the properties dialog box, click change symbol this button here 
in the symbol selector change the font size to 14 click the italic button click on OK and click on OK again and it should be Queensland Australia now and a little bit smaller and in italics now number eight on page 345 on the draw toolbar click the text button arrow and click rectangle text so on the draw toolbar the text button and click um, rectangle text and now let's go to page 346 and I've got crosshairs here which means I'm going to be drawing a rectangle on the screen and we want a rectangle below the subtitle so we'll put one down here let's kinda go like that and um, double click on it and this is where you enter the text and we're gonna put um, this map depicts geographic regions Okay, so this map depicts the biogeographic regions and subregions of Queensland, Australia, data created by the Queensland Government Information Service. And we want this to be left justified. And it was uh, fully justified before, it looks like. Uh, now we're on number 10 on page 346. On the properties dialog box, click the size and position tab right here and in the size frame change the width to four inches and uh, we're actually pretty close to that already so just change it to plain old four and the height to point six five we're a little bit high on that six five and then click on OK and again it's redrawing and this time we should have the text in the box and it should look uh, quite a bit like uh, what's on page 347 and now we're on number 11 right click the subtitle which uh, is this one right click the subtitle and on the shortcut menu click nudge nudge up okay so nudge and nudge up And it's probably got to redraw to do that. And so uh, you didn't actually see it move because it all disappeared, but it's a little bit higher than it was before. And keep nudging it until you can get as close to the title as possible without touching it. And I think that's about as close as we're going to get. Um, uh, judge or nudge the description rectangle up. So that's this one. And right click and choose nudge up. and I really wish this wasn't so slow but uh, that's the way it is so we'll do it uh, we'll do it twice okay and I think that's about uh, as much as we want to move it number 13 on page 347 with the description rectangle selected hold down the control key and click so it's already selected hold the control key down click on the subtitle click on the title so all three of them are selected now and right click any element on the shortcut menu click align and align center so right click and do align and align center and again I wish it would just not redraw the whole screen because you can't really see the change that way but uh, now they are all uh, center aligned with one another. The middle of the title box is going to be the middle of the subtitle box. It's going to be the middle of uh, the description box. Now let's go to page 348, number 14. With the elements still selected, right click any element on the shortcut menu, click group. Okay, so uh, click, uh, where's group? Right here. And now they are one unit. 
and uh, I can move them around together, I can uh, apply formatting to them at the same time and so on. Now number 15 on the draw toolbar, here's our draw toolbar up here and uh, click the rectangle tool and um, there's a rectangle tool right there. There's a, there's a whole bunch of them, but rectangle is the one that's there by default. And now let's go to page 349. We want to draw a rectangle that snaps to the guides around the title. So we're going to go right here and we're going to click and draw a rectangle. And I missed it, and so that one's got to go in just a little bit. I th yeah, let's see if I can get that to happen. And I am not getting that to happen. What happens if I really pull it in a lot? Now that's too far. I guess that's where it's going to go. Um, and actually that's what it looks like on the top of page 349, I guess, so it must be correct. I was thinking that it was supposed to stop a little bit before this left uh, the right edge of the map here. Uh, make sure the rectangle is selected. Uh, the handles are there, so it's selected. On the draw toolbar, click the fill color arrow. Here's my draw toolbar, and um, I want a fill color. That's a marker color. My bucket is my fill color. Uh, click on the arrow, and on the color palette, click Sahara Sand, which is the third one on the first row here. And that will change the color of my rectangle a little bit. Uh, right click the selected rectangle, and click Order Send to Back. So I want to put this behind the text that I've got there. And that'll move it to the back. And now we're on number 19 on page 350. Click the grouped element containing the title, subtitle, and description. Um, so I want to click that and uh, okay so now I've got that and press and hold shift and click the bottom of the colored rectangle uh, is that right here? And I'm not seeing the bottom of the colored rectangle. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, back off one here. I'm going to undo and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it down I'm drag it down a little bit further I want it to snap oh I think I still have the text selected yeah I want this selected I think I'm going to drag that down a little bit more now it's in front of the text and now if I go and move it to the back and uh, send it to the back and now my text will appear in front and it's just basically a background for it. And now what I want to do is um, shift click the bottom edge of the colored rectangle outside of this. Okay, so there's the blue line separating the top rectangle from the colored rectangle that's behind it. So I want to um, first click this, I'm sorry, and then shift click on this so I've got both of them selected now again. And what I want to do is um, I want to take those and I want to align them and I want to align uh, vertical center. So let's select that. And so it's taking this box here with the light green and it's going to center it. If you could measure, uh, can I zoom in on this? I just zoomed the wrong way. This zooms the opposite of the way most other stuff zooms. Um, if you could zoom in on it and oh I did zoom in on it and if you can measure this area right here between the green line and the blue line and the same area down here between the green line and the blue line it should be the exact same number of pixels so that's what we did was we centered it vertically and uh, we're probably going to want to center it horizontally too we've got a little bit of extra space over here and I think we want to take this text and move it over so let's right click and let's do align and let's align their centers uh, like that and when we redraw this now and look at the left edge of the text and the right edge of the text this gap over here and this gap over here should be the same size uh, now we're on number 22 on page 350 
uh, right click either of the selected elements once more and click group and now they are all one and um, click an empty part of the virtual page to clear the grouped element selection and so that would be like over here or actually it doesn't really matter just any place outside of that uh, zoom back to the full extent by clicking on my zoom whole page and yes we will save our work we'll save it in my data there's no need to re, uh, rename it so we'll just go do file and save as we'll just leave the same name but put it in a different folder so let's go to my data and we'll put uh, 10b there and that takes us to the end of 10b